With Halloween around the corner, let's make a Halloween cocktail. Let's make a penicillin, but make it black for Halloween. So we'll call it the Black Plague. The penicillin is a modern classic by Sam Ross of Milk and Honey. In honor of that, we'll be following the recipe slightly and switching up with a little bit of activated charcoal. The penicillin has a single malt scotch, a blended scotch, lemon, simple syrup, and sometimes a ginger syrup. We're gonna be using a ginger syrup instead of fresh ginger, and then also an additive of some uh, activated charcoal to make it black for Halloween. Start with two ounces of our blended scotch. I'm gonna spill the whole damn thing. Three quarters of an ounce of our ginger honey syrup. An eighth of a teaspoon activated charcoal. Next, in my gigantic juicer, three quarters of an ounce of lemon. Now, every time I've read one of these recipes, it says that we're supposed to miss this or top the cocktail with your single malt. I, every time I've had one, I don't like it. It ends up tasting like that's all I can taste for the first couple of like sips. So we're going to actually blend it in with a quarter ounce. And now for ice. Ice. Top it off and shake. Ice in our glass. Oh yeah, look at that color. Do a little spritz. And there you go, the black plague. Look at that color. delicious. Uh, you can taste the ginger in it. It also has slight, like slight bite in the ginger. The lemon has a strong flavor in it, but then you get that smokiness of the Beaumore 15, our single malt. This is the 15 year uh, that's finished in uh, sherry cask, oh, sherry casks. So there you go. The Black Plague. Happy Halloween. Mm.